All right, let's talk about popping joints and why some people might pop more than other people. But in order to understand this, we need to know, well, what is the crack? What is the pop? So I'm going to try to summarize that within about 30 seconds. To understand the, the, uh, the pop or the crack, we have joints and they move across each other like this. So when I'm moving any of my joints in the spine and the neck, we have lots of little joints and all of this is what allows us to move. So when we have these joints moving, they move well because we have this slippery substance called synovial fluid. And that just allows joints to glide past each other nice and smoothly. When there is a separation and especially a quick, a rapid separation, you know when people pop their necks or when they pop joints, they, kinda, they do it quickly. So that quick separation of that joint, so say I've got this joint that goes right here, as we pull it apart, the synovial fluid separates, it creates a little negative pressure in there, and as, that, as there is that negative pressure and the synovial fluid separates, it draws gases out and it creates a popping sound, or it's called a cavitation. So why would some people pop more easily than other people's? Uh, well, the answer would be some people have really loose joints and some people have really stiff and rigid joints. If somebody has a really loose joint that moves almost too easily, and think about it, the people that uh, pop really easily are the people that crack their necks all the time, or they pop their knuckles all the time. They're doing it constantly, repetitively. And so the more frequently they do it, the more easy it is to do it because those uh, ligaments and what they call the joint capsules around that are just too loose. They're not stabilizing that joint very well, so they pull apart really easily. They'll pop. Uh, take the opposite of that, somebody with, say, osteoarthritis, where that joint space is closer together, together, it's narrowed, and everything around that joint is really stiff. They don't get that movement that they should get anymore. It's just really locked up and stiff. And those are the people, when you do adjust them, they usually say, wow, they, they, they get a lot of benefit from that added range of motion. That actually feels a lot better uh, when you do that versus the person that cracks their neck all the time. They've almost lost the effect of getting much relief. They might get some temporary relief. Oh, that feels good for a matter of minutes usually. Um, but what they usually need is more stability and strengthening uh, around that area. And maybe surrounding areas might be stiff and tight. Areas that they can't get to pop themselves and they would benefit from uh, getting some help, getting some adjustments in those areas. Uh, but hopefully that gives you a little bit of an explanation. I know that's a question that I get a lot about the popping the joints and why some people pop more than others. And I hope that clears that up. I love questions. I love comments. Um, I think that's how we learn things. So please feel free in the description below or in the uh, comment section below rather. Leave a question, leave a comment. I would love to answer those for you.